Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. I wasn't going to vlog today. Like, I was thinking about it. I think I said this in a recent vlog too, but today I was thinking about it and I was like, man, I'm gonna take the day off, whatever. But I'm in such a good mood this morning. I'm like, I wanna dance around. And so I felt like it's a good day to vlog because I'm like in a good mood. I'm gonna be doing some fun stuff. And yeah, I'm just kinda gonna have a me day today. So it's Sunday, I'm taking it off from the gym. Obviously I'm not working because I don't wanna work on a Sunday. And yeah, so um, I definitely wanna to go to the pool today. And I was gonna to go to a yoga class at the gym that I go to, but the only spot left was like right in the front and I, I'm comfortable with yoga, but not like I don't like when I haven't gone to a specific studio before. I don't want to be like in the front row. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't even know when, when I'm not like because every studio is a little bit different, and so I, I would just rather be like not front and center in the class. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, there's probably so many things on YouTube. I'm gonna do it in my living room or my room um, this morning. Just a little yoga flow stretch type of thing. I really wanna start doing this on Sundays because I, ever since I stopped dancing, I mean, I can definitely feel all of the <laughs> overuse injuries throughout my body. Um, and I'm just sort of making them worse by not stretching ever. So, um, and also like I spent 20 years or something like 19, 20 years working on being flexible and I'm just gonna like throw it all to waste now. Like I wanna still be really flexible, you know? So I think on Sundays, the days that I take off from the gym, I'm just gonna work on strength or lengthening and stretching my body and just the whole type of yoga vibe. Maybe some days I'll go to a Pilates class if I'm feeling like a little more up to something a little more like high intensity but yeah and then I want to go to the pool today I do also have to go to our Walmart or Target because we left our shampoo in the shower at the gym so we're getting more of that and yeah there's so many good things to eat in my apartment right now because we went grocery shopping and I was feeling very inspired while shopping yesterday I had sort of fallen into like a weird I don't even know like this always happens I get like because I love to cook and then I'll get like really unmotivated to cook and bored of cooking and so I just kind of eat like not I'm not like eating out and eating fast food necessarily but just eating like foods that don't like fill me with energy and everything and I was getting a little bit of a funk where I kept doing that and not really eating foods that like sustained my energy and made me feel good and everything like that and so um I just was feeling inspired at the store yesterday and yeah we also made a stop at Whole Foods which we never do to pick up some just like new different stuff and yeah last night we had sweet potato tacos and they were really good that's like one of my favorite things to make it's so so easy literally I'll have to show you guys one day because all you have to do is microwave sweet potatoes for like a few minutes so that they're pretty much cooked and then cut them up and put them in a pan with canned corn and beans and season it to your liking and then put it in a corn tortilla <laughs> and then you're good to go and like you can put stuff on top like salsa or cilantro or whatever but like the basis of it is so so easy it's like one of my favorite things ever but anyways i've been sitting here with this really yummy avocado toast in front of me so i'm gonna eat it but um i made it like extra fancy today i added some lemon juice in it a little bit of oil to make it like creamy and just like oh, look at that yummy yum that looks so good let me eat i'll talk to you guys in
so, so good. Okay, that was like actually so, so nice. I need to do that more often. Um, yeah, that just was exactly what I needed this morning. And there's so many days when I feel like I need that. And so I just need to do it, you know? That was just nice. So I'm gonna wash my face now and then head down to the pool, I guess. It's like weird because normally this is like when I go work out, but I guess I'll go to the pool. And Avery has to work today, so I'm a lone soldier for the most of the day. Okay guys, little pool outfit of the day. Obviously bringing the Hydro Flask and the tote. Maybe I'll do a what's in my beach bag or pool bag when I get down there. We'll see. But yes, yeah, what I'm wearing. This hat, Sunbum gifted me. I'm obsessed with it. It's like the perfect beach hat and normally baseball hats that aren't like what's like the brand 47 like the ones that with like the baseball teams on it normally if they're not those hats they don't fit me right because i don't like when hats like or baseball hats like sit over my ears you know like i like when i can tuck my ears into the hat it doesn't bother me as much with um camper hats which I just found out is what they're called. Those hats I always wear are called camper hats. <laughs> fact. Um, but yeah, I like when baseball hats cover my ears because I like to wear baseball hats lower on my face than skater hats that wear like up higher. But yeah, anyways, I really like this hat. And it's like really cozy. And then this little romper is from Aerie. And my bathing suit underneath is my new favorite. I got it from Billabong. It's really cute. It's like really flattering. And I like how the bottoms aren't like, I think I talked about this. They're like, 85% cheeky, not like 100% cheeky like the rest of them. So since it's a Sunday, I feel like there's probably a lot of families at the pool and I just don't want to have like all my cheeks hanging out. So yeah, and then my rainbow brand. So class, which I get a lot of questions about when I'm showing my feet, whatever. Um, I get a lot of questions about them. Yeah, they're the brand rainbow. They're really cozy and look, like they're the type of flip flop that gets like so molded to your foot, it's like, the best thing ever. These and um, Birkenstocks are the only shoes I'll ever wear. I just got these this past Christmas, but my Birkenstocks I've had since I was a senior in high school, so they've been through a lot with me. And then I actually took off my rainbow little choker thing that Avery made me like months ago because it was literally pulling out my hair and I loved it so much so I put up with it for a long time, but I'm just gonna take a break from the little choker. Just wear all gold. I also ordered a new gold ring that I'm really excited about. And now I'm just yabbering yeah, on and I really want to go to the pool. But I, they're not in style, I don't think. I haven't seen like anyone wear them, but I've just been craving a gold watch, like a really small gold watch. My mom, when I was a little kid, always used to have like little watches. And lately I've just been wanting that vibe so i found one online that i really like actually i found one online that i love but it sold out so then i found one from the same company that i really like i think i want to buy it i don't know last time i went to the pool by myself i ended up spending so much money <laughs> online i was like i don't think i was vlogging that day. no i wasn't was it friday yeah friday i was having a not good day for some reason after the sun shark launch i was just like having a day like really not feeling well mentally and I was like I just went to the pool by myself to like breathe you know like have time with myself and my thoughts and I ended up going online shopping <laughs> and spending so much money but it was so therapeutic like I felt great afterwards we went out to dinner we got in this, these cute outfits like we had a day okay before we leave I'm gonna have Avery put sunscreen on my back because Wear your sunscreen, people. Avery, will you put sunscreen on me now? Sorry, what? Will you put sunscreen on me? If your girlfriend doesn't put sunscreen on your back, then you don't have a girlfriend. You have um, an ex-girlfriend. <laughs> my little beauty marks because last summer I um my it was a bad it was bad <laughs> I got way too much sun exposure on my little beauty marks and they were damaged like I was like oh crap I gotta be more careful I have to make a stop at my car 
real quick to get um, some sunscreen because that one, Rena, are you waiting for me to leave? Yes. <laughs> going down to the pool, it's so blurry. Hello? Hi. Okay, going down. I just looked and there's like not that many people there, so. Sweet. brought me down a salad Yay. thank you it's so good it's just lettuce cucumber red pepper and tomatoes yeah. tomatoes and this new salad dressing that I got which I'll have to show you guys later it's really good I tried. yeah hi guys all right I'm back from the pool it's only like 2 15 but I was getting so much sun so I was like I need to get out of this like I need a break um and I have a few picture ideas I was like scrolling on Pinterest getting some ideas that's like my favorite thing to do um and I found some cute pictures that I that inspired me that I want to like whatever they gave me ideas to photos I want to take and um but the sun was like really harsh and so I was like well if I want to take these pictures and I still have to run errands and I'm gonna go and run errands now and then come back to the pool around like five-ish and like right before dinner um, before we go come up to, to cook dinner and um, I'll take some pictures then so I'm gonna run to Target and yeah gonna run to Target and get some new shampoo and I don't know what else I need I think that might be all I need. I'm like, I feel like I have so much time in the day on Sundays because I don't work out and I don't work. And so I'm like, what What am I supposed to do with my time? But I guess that's like the point of a Sunday is to not have anything to do. Oh, I do need to switch my sheets from the washer to the dryer because Sunday is sheet washing day, which this is your sign to wash your sheets if you haven't yet. But, okay, I'm gonna get dressed, and I wanted to wear the romper. It's not a romper. I wanted to wear the, what do they ever call it? Jumpsuit? Overalls. Overalls. I wanted to wear the overalls that um, I was wearing earlier, but I'm gonna save that for the pictures. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna find something else to wear and run to Target. Okay, I'm having a quick snack. I took a body shower. Oh, I already talked to you. Yeah, I already told you that. I took a body shower, got dressed, and having a little snack. Let me show you a little fit first. It's like nothing super exciting, but just looks real cute. I'm obsessed. But anyways, I have some of these left over from last week. These crackers are pretty good from Trader Joe's. Um, and I got this jalapeno hummus from Whole Foods yesterday that I really want to try. <laughs> no. Um, I heard recently that, well not Trader Joe's hummus, but like the popular hum hummus brands have like scary stuff in them. Um, I don't buy those really anyways, but I just like wanted to try new hummus. So let's try the jalapeno one. Yum. Mm, has a good flavor and then the spice hits too like later and then the sweetness of the fig in this cracker like balances it out it's really good definitely recommend this combo um but yeah i'm gonna go to target in a few and then come home and relax more i guess avery rose from the dead to come to the store with me yep We've been having our own versions of relaxing Saturday yeah. today. <laughs> Avery was playing um, Xbox. GTA. Because I just got um, myself an Xbox and got GTA and I got Call of Duty. If you mm -hmm. want to play GTA with me, my gamer tag is Avery Cyrus 23. But oh I God, have, get I have ready. An Xbox 360 only. Um, so yeah. I don't know any of them. Or if you want to play Call of Duty. or um, But I usually like to play zombies. 
If you want to play zombies with me, then yeah, we can do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, she stayed in here while I relaxed at the pool, but she's gonna take some photos for me later. Right? Mm -hmm. But I got my tote. I've been obsessed with totes recently. And I also called this apartment that we found that we really want to live in. So hopefully they'll call us back and we can tour it. But here's the fit. But yeah, I really want. I'm gonna demand lighting. I'm gonna be like, I do not <laughs> want some complex in the corner bottom that gets one drip of sun. I need it flooded. Duh. Yeah, we need sunlight. And this place, you guys, has a lot of light. From at least the pictures, we have to like look in person, obviously, but. Um, has a lot of windows and there's a water bottle filler on the fridge, which is like bonus because I hate the stupid Brita. Yeah. I like I grew up drinking tap water from the kitchen sink and so like the least amount of work possible. And so the Brita is just like far too much for me. Um, but this new place that I really want to live in that we found um, has a water bottle filler and white cabinet so it's gonna look so much brighter and it's so pretty and bigger and yeah I mean we haven't toured it or anything yet this is just like a, a place I found that I, I'm interested in but it's also in our favorite city around here so high hopes for that place hopefully Super they'll call us back but that was just a random thought but like what is this come look at this what is this yeah like it's literally nighttime in here. Mm -hmm. Unless all the lights are out and then it's orange. Yeah. Like, oh, see, you can't even tell. It's just dark. Like, our kitchen right now, dark. It makes it, the camera makes you look like 50% lighter. You guys, I'm telling you, like, it's dark. I don't know. I probably should have a good camera. Like, ready? Now look at me in real life. Yeah, you look like a little shadow. This camera's really good. Yeah. Okay. Like, ugh, never mind. <laughs> we just need new It's so frustrating. And like, we always have to face this direction. Like, I always Making film- TikToks. Yeah, I always film my TikToks in our bedroom, which we never like talked about, but it just became like my background is our bedroom and her background <laughs> is like the living room. Because of the way we like our lighting. Like, she likes out here better and she likes this background, but like, this is not the cutest view of our apartment, you know? Like, we have this super cute wall, this corner right here would be so cute, but like, the lighting is awful, and like, in our bedroom, our bed is the cute part. Ignore it, because we're washing sheets, but I can't film like this, like, on, on my phone, because it's backlit and weird. Like, on the camera, it's fine. But, you know? Yeah. And <clears throat> even like, Actually, this rainbow light helps like so much, but before that, when I'd be on Zooms, I'd be facing, I'd be sitting at my desk facing the window, and literally, it would be like... Worse, because it's a math quality. Yeah, like so bad, I'd look like a shadow, so that helps, that light helps, but... But, and like, right here, right? Like, this surfboard area is so cute, but just the way the lighting comes in, on a phone, it just like... Yeah, doesn't it doesn't work. count when you're on this like super expensive camera, yeah. but like on the phone, oof. Yeah. And when we're trying to be on meetings. And even and this, like I want to be able to like walk through our apartment vlogging, but I turn and it's just pitch black. But anyways, whining. Um, yeah. I just really want some natural lighting. Like what? <laughs> what? Okay. It's Target. so dark and weird, so. Yeah. To Target we go. Okay, just went into Target. Ended up getting more than shampoo, obviously, because we went to Target. Um, but we got some new shampoo to try. I've heard this, I've heard of this brand before. People recommended it to me when I was like um, trying to repair my hair from like dyeing it a lot. It's this brand, Carol's Daughter. I've heard really good things about this, so I'm excited to try it. And then, I guess I could show you this when I get home, but I also got this really cute little button up white shirt it's like a little bit cropped thought it'd be really cute with like jeans just like i don't know just kind of in my vibe lately and then i also picked up this pack of earrings but only because i wanted these two Can i just want to put these ones i just want to take out my diamonds i feel like my diamonds aren't my vibe right at the second i just want like wearing. no because i don't want to get rid of them or lose them <laughs> I just like, 
want to change. I've worn diamonds in my second and third holes like forever, like literally since I got them. So figured I would switch it up. Live on the edge a little bit. Also, you know that you're supposed to remove this? What? Yeah, you, you usually need a hard surface. Yeah, there we go. What? Did you guys know you're supposed to take off this plastic part and then it's just an earring? According to who? No, like for real, Z's, you're just you supposed heard it on to. TikTok? No, I, I forget where I originally heard it, but that's just what you're supposed to do. Cute! Super cute! Okay. I love that. Let me do this. Hold on. I'll get back to you guys when I put all my earrings in. I put them in and I really like them. They look really good. Cute. The only thing is I still have a silver hoop in my cartilage. But I can't ever find one. I have like a really thin ear. Fun fact. Like it's really thin. There's no like girth to it at all. And so I can never find a hoop that like fits snug to me like this. But now I'm like, this butterfly would look so cute up there. I really want to get more cartilage piercings, but every time I do... <laughs> she takes them out. <laughs> I take it out because they hurt and get bumps. Well, so if you hear that chewing in the background, it's Avery chewing on plastic. <laughs> Her plastic of, of the hour. <laughs> Her mysterious object she found next to her in the crevices of the seat. Dinner time. Grabbing fish that smells slightly weird. And I'm also going to make this that I found at Trader Joe's. This mushroom and herb risotto. And I'm gonna make some Brussels sprouts. I need to cut those. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you my little Brussels sprout recipe. I mean, it changes every time, but this is what I'm doing this time. Okay, so I halved my Brussels sprouts after I washed them and cut them, like shaved them down a little bit, got rid of the yucky stuff on the outside. And now, obviously I'm gonna do olive oil and I'm also gonna do balsamic vinaigrette. Oh wait, actually no, balsamic vinegar glaze, the thick one. And yeah, okay, some oil. Don't be afraid of oil because that's what makes it good. And then some glaze. Also, that I think this is what makes it good too. Like, really cake it on. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna season it and get back to you. So I seasoned it with everything but the bagel, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and oregano. Yeah. And it looks like this. And now. I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. If you don't like a little bit crispy cheese or a little bit burnt cheese, I would put it on like halfway through. But I like this little bit crispy, so. She likes a dirt of crispy. That's mean, guys. I'm like trying to get an aesthetic cooking video, and it's like. <laughs> I'm like in the back, like. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're always like making noise in the back. Um, but yeah, here's what it looks like. A whole lot of cheese. Sorry. <laughs> Look. I'm very sorry. You have a timer going? Would you? Okay, yum, guys. If this is not a Sunday dinner, I simply do not know what is. Look at the smoke coming off that risotto. Yum. Okay, mushroom, risotto, Brussels sprouts, and salmon. Salmon is lemony. This is balsamic y. And this is like umami y, you know, like mushroomy. But I also added garlic to it. So it'll be like garlic mushroom type of vibe. I figured Avery would have a better chance of enjoying it if it tasted a little bit more. Please. Okay, let's taste test everything. First up is risotto. I've already tried this. I don't know, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts, I've also tried, but not my best work. And now let's try the salmon. <clears throat> Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna eat after this. Take a wild guess. Orange is a new black, and what are we gonna do when it's over? We watch it. I have some zucchini bread to eat. I'm so excited. Yeah, that's my update for right now. We also went, I took some Instagram pictures, so go check those out. Okay, 
cutting myself a piece of this banana bread. Is it banana? I mean zucchini bread from Whole Foods. I've never tried this this one before. I've had zucchini bread. Oh, it smells <laughs> funky. Well, does it smell like a fart? No. It just smells like a zucchini. I want to smell. Normally it sort of is like pumpkin bready. Oh. <laughs> oh, it smells like green juice. That's okay. Obviously, I have to do a test slice and then a real slice. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Sorry, Avery has the hiccups. Hmm. It's good. Does it taste like healthy? Mm hmm, but it's good. I'm gonna try. Some zucchini bread, and then obviously I'm gonna have some cottage cheese later too. Will you cut enough stuff for me to have after? Yeah, sure. Sweet. Okay, also, real quick guys, before I end off the vlog, I wanna show you. We took off the fuzzy white blanket that's normally on our bed, and because we washed our sheets today, and so instead of putting the white blanket back on, we kept it out here for the living room because it's always a battle because we like the same blankets. And so, like, we're always like, we need more blankets. And so now, we can just share this big blanket, and then if one of us is extra cold, they can put on another blanket on top of this one. So it's perfect. I just found a dryer sheet. Will you throw this dryer sheet away? Yeah, I will. But anyways, I'm gonna end off this vlog here because, I mean, Orange is the new black starts now. And I'm gonna eat my zucchini bread and have some cottage cheese and enjoy my night. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was like a little relaxing Sunday in my life and it was much needed. It felt so good to do absolutely nothing. Like I was even gonna do laundry and I was like, no. Uh-uh, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna sit your butt on the couch and watch Orange is the New Black because it's a Sunday. And I'm gonna, and tomorrow, we gotta ship out our sun truck orders, my sun truck orders. Um, yeah. You excited to ship out sun truck tomorrow? Heck yeah. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> make sure to follow me on all of my other social media and subscribe, comment down below, like this video, all that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.